fast forward to a couple of years later, which is one. What's up everyone and welcome to another three kicks a day video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker that I absolutely do not need, but I am just so excited to have, and that is the Air Force One in triple red. Now remember, if you are on Instagram, give me a follow on three kicks a day. I'm usually posting content over there daily. I said earlier that this is a sneaker that I absolutely didn't need to have. And the reason why is not because I've got another triple red Air Force One, but it's just because I've got so many Air Force Ones. And the reason why I've got so many Air Force Ones is because it is an absolute beauty. I'll take these in low tops, mids, highs, whatever you're giving out, I'll likely take them. There's two reasons why I love the Air Force One. Number one is design. I mean, check this thing out. For something that is nearly 40 years old, it's amazing how cool it looks even today. Almost like a modern retro, like a retro modern or... It's not a thing, but what I'm trying to say is, is that it looks amazing even today. And the second reason why I love the Air Force One is because of the story that goes behind it. That's the reason why I love sneakers so much. It's a combination of art and story and design and tech. You could talk all day about an Air Force One. But in a nutshell, this is a sneaker that was released in 1982, originally as a high top only. It was designed as a basketball shoe, a performance basketball shoe. And it was the first ever basketball shoe that had the air in the midsole. Fast forward to 1984, two years after its release, and Nike wanted to can this model. But there was a group of retailers in Baltimore that banded together and petitioned for Nike to provide them with enough stock so that they could sell to their market. It became a hit. It stuck and it's never gone away. This was actually superseded by the Air Force 2, 3 and 4. But the 1 has been a staple in Nike's lineup for as long as I can remember. Taking a look at this Air Force One, it is like any other Air Force One that you would have, at least any other standard Air Force One that you would have. Same rules apply for Air Force One, and when I say rules, I'm talking about fit. The Air Force One, for me, fits big, and I usually size down half a size. This fits exactly as any other Air Force One would, so you should get the same size that you've always bought an Air Force One in. If you haven't bought an Air Force One before, I'd recommend sizing down at least half a size. If you're unsure, go and try them on in store first. It has the regular outsole, regular midsole, leather upper, nylon tongue, red laces, red lining, as the name would suggest, red, red, red. And the other thing that looks really good on this Air Force One is the very, very slight variations in red based on the materials that they've been applied to. Looks great, looks so good. I bought it almost as soon as it was released here. I have a problem, but it's not one I'm going to change anytime soon, so you don't have to worry. There'll be heaps more videos about shoes coming. Let's take a look at how these things look on feet. There you have it, that's the Air Force One in triple red. Interested to hear what you guys think. Is it something that you guys are gonna cop? Is it something you guys are gonna skip on? Let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, laters.